time for a Blaze Sports update. ASU hopes to black out and shut out Missouri on Friday. It's 541, and I'm Pierce Bly with your Blaze Sports update. Coming off a 48-14 season opening win over UC Davis, Arizona State welcomes number 21 Mizzou to Sun Devil Stadium Friday. The Sun Devils will be holding a blackout game as fans are being encouraged to wear black, and ASU will debut its all-new black uniforms and helmets. Last week against the Aggies, the Sun Devil offense put up 517 yards, led by Brock Osweiler's 262 passing yards and two touchdowns. Arizona State and Missouri have faced each other five times before, but not since 1990. The Jacksonville Jaguars released veteran quarterback David Garrard on Tuesday, a move that will save the franchise $9 million this season. Whether it saves coach Jack Del Rio's job, however, remains to be seen. Team owner Wayne Weaver has said Jacksonville needs to make the playoffs for Del Rio to stick around for a 10th season. Del Rio made it clear late last season that he had grown tired of Garrard's inconsistent ways, but the coach remained steadfast through training camp and the preseason that Garrard was his starter. Winning the biggest game of college football's opening weekend boosted LSU to number two in the Associated Press's top 25. Number one Oklahoma held on to the top spot in the first regular season rankings, while the Tigers used their 40-27 victory against Oregon to jump rival Alabama, which slipped to number three. The Sooners received 32 of 60 first place votes. LSU took home 17. Alabama tallied nine, and two voters had number four Boise State ranked top after the Broncos' impressive 35-21 win against Georgia. Meanwhile, Florida State moved up to number 5, Oregon dropped to number 13, and defending national champion Auburn fell out of the top 25 after barely escaping Utah State 42-38 at home. Boston Red Sox manager Terry Francona said the team was still waiting for the results of an exam on Josh Beckett's injured right ankle, but he did indicate that the right-hander will likely miss his next start. Beckett, who was flown back to Boston for the exam after injuring the ankle Monday night, was slated to go against the Rays Sunday. With Eric Bedard's next start also being skipped due to a knee issue, the Red Sox will start John Lackey on Friday, rookie Kyle Weiland on Saturday, and John Lester on Sunday. The Sox started today two and a half games behind the Yankees for the division lead in the AL East. Well, that's sports. I'm Pierce Bly. For updates at the bottom of every hour, keep it here on The Blaze. Sports since 1982. The Blaze, 1330 a.m.